right. So Desmond from Jolu says, hello, sisters. My girlfriend can't cook. Not to sound stereotypical, but I feel when it comes to cooking, every lady at least has to know her way around a few things in the kitchen. I tried indirectly to pick her mind about this, and her response was, quote, unquote, no one is responsible for cooking in marriage. You fix yourself something to eat if you're hungry. Yeah, so. End of quote. I'm a good cook, though, and I wouldn't mind cooking sometimes when the need be. But this got me thinking for a while. Do I really want to be in such a marriage in future? I don't think so. But I do love her so much. I don't want to be blunt and tell her what I think about this because I know she'll blow it out of proportion. Help, sisters. Desmond Jolu. The married people talk it. How important is this cooking so, matter? Can I start? Yes, yeah. please. Go ahead. Okay. First of all, I'm, I'm glad you ended this text or message with a question. And you're saying that you're not sure whether you can live with someone, be married to someone who is not interested in cooking. That's an important question to ask yourself. And it's an even more important, again, conversation to have with this woman. Mm. If she'll blow it out of proportion, then it means you're not on the same page. And you see, something as simple as cooking, we've seen people get divorced over who squeezes the toothpaste from the <laughs> middle of the tube and the end. It may seem like something trivial, but it could be the bane of your marriage. Now, you say you think every lady should at least know her way around the kitchen. Every human being needs to eat. So if you know how to cook and you're not willing to take up that responsibility or pay someone to do it in your home, then again, you need to be questioning who you're marrying. Human beings are different. Some women tend to be very domestic by nature. Others, if you have choleric in you like me or Tina, Charlie, <laughs> some certain things just don't come naturally. I love to cook. But I don't have the time. Look at how many hours we spend here at City. Mm, Even good. on weekends, we're here. Yeah. So now what I do is, I, if I can't meal prep, I have someone who cooks. She comes in, we, we, I give her the list, whatever. I supervise when I can. Mm. And then we put it in the freezer and we eat. Right. If you're the type who likes fresh meals every day, then my home is not for you. Mm. <laughs> but your husband understands. Yes, right? of course. That's so there's somewhere matters. even when, and he has a bit, he's busy too, but a bit more of leeway. So typically on a, on a working day, he will go to the gym after work and then we would meet up afterwards. His first question is always, what do you want to eat? Because he knows that he has a bit of time, you know, yeah. time yeah. on his hands. So even if he can't cook, we're either doing takeout or we know that when we get home or we've called whoever is at home to Make heat something. the food and then we eat it together. Mm. There are some people who want fresh meals every day and they don't want to compromise on that then you need to either find someone who is being a chef or a cook for you, or you're marrying someone who has that time. It seems like a trivial thing again, but it's a very serious issue. But what you shouldn't do is impose this thing on a woman. Right. On the flip side, though, once you get into a marriage, it's not just about you anymore. So your girlfriend, if she's going to become your wife, also needs to understand that if feeding you is an important thing to you, then she's going to have to make some compromises because you're running at home. Mm. It's not just about going, you know, chilling, hanging out at work, and then you come back now and then we go to bed. You're running at home. That people must be fed. Right. Children will come. They need to eat. Your home needs to be clean, put together. If you can't do it yourself, then take the initiative and make sure that there are measures in place so yeah, that everybody is comfortable. Yeah. So this guy, there are also some men who will say to me, I don't want anybody to cook my food. Then Charlie, my that is another yeah, problem issue, altogether. Yeah. So they need to have all these conversations, see where everybody is at. But I want him to understand that not every woman is as domestic as we've painted the picture. There are some women who cook, but their cooking is not nice. Oh. And you will be married to the person, you can never say it because you don't <laughs> want to hurt her feelings. Yeah. She will know her way around it. She knows how to chop the onions. The stew is made, but it's not nice. Charlie. Or you run. <laughs> and, it's not, <laughs> and it's not her fault because cooking is an art. Yeah. It also comes with a certain set of skills. So really just have the conversation and don't be, come from an attacking standpoint. That's when I'm sure she'll blow it out of proportion. Sit down with her and let her know that, look, if we're looking to get into marriage, this is something that is important to me. I don't want to make you do anything that you are not comfortable doing. How can we meet each mm -hmm. other halfway? And I think we, we can have somewhere to go from there. Right. So, so I, I basically think that when you're dating and you start talking about marriage, it could be one of two things. Either initial stages in the, in the dating process or maybe you're now 
seriously getting into that zone where you're getting married. Mm. I don't know what, which stage they yeah, are yeah. at right now. But I remember, for me, even when we were serious, I, I, I would make it a point not to cook. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. I will make it a point so that he knows that I am not a wife. I will cook when I want to cook so that the two of us will eat. Mm, exactly. But not because he has said he wants to eat. If you understand what's right. It. So uh, some women just don't want to play wife material before they are wives. So before then, and which is a good idea, mm. so that you don't get into that whole space where you think that you are already married and then... <clears throat> Charlie, if, if something happens, yeah. you can't even, you know, disassociate yourself from. So for me, that, that's what happened. Naturally, I am somebody who likes to cook. But um, for some reason, I, I, I think mine was a whole, I want to make a point and a conscious effort not to cook. <laughs> it was rebellious. Mm. Like, I, I just wanted to show you that, listen, I'm not your wife. I'm not your wife. Mm. I don't know what I wanted to prove at that time. But, um, at least now you got the right. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, um, you, you need to know as a person what you can't live without and what you can't... Um, um, you can compromise. Basically. Yeah, can. like, if you can't live with a person who won't cook... That is something that you can't compromise on or with. Mm. So you have to take a second look at it. Right. Now, my thing too is that I don't think there's anybody, even the laziest person, who would say they don't know how to cook. They can put something together and eat and survive. As, as um, uh, Apioko said, women can put things together, but it's not necessarily edible. <laughs> or like tasty tasty you understand so if you know how to cook and his and and the lady's stance is that me i if you're hungry go and cook something for yourself it could be that she's just she's just being rebellious around that time or it could be that she still hasn't gotten a wind of where you guys are at right now mm. some people don't they, in their minds they don't feel like this is a serious relationship. I'm right. um, just, you know, we are, we are still there. We are, when you get into the marriage or when you're getting married and when everything becomes real, right. <laughs> you, I don't think she would talk the same way she, she talks. But it's also good to have the conversation to let her know that, listen, I don't <coughs> mind that you don't know how to cook mm. and I don't mind that this and that. But I think that... Um, you making sure that there's food at home is something that I would like to have. Right. So you lay your cards on the table and let her know, especially if the relationship is getting very serious, mm. you need to let her know what your concerns are. Put it on the table and let her know that you can't compromise on this. So however she wants to deal with it. I'm sure when you, when you deal with it in a very serious manner, she would, she would not give you the same the same answer, like throw the answer about the way she did. Right. You know, so <clears throat> approach it again from a different angle. Let her know how serious you are and tell her how dear it is to your she heart. Yeah. And then um, maybe you can take it from there. All right, Rosie. Hmm. I'm more inclined towards Tina because we also have the flip side where we have women, when they are dating, they go all out, they'll wash your clothes, they'll cook a storm for you. They'll buy food products for your mother, prospective mother-in-law. They, they, they want to be your besties with, you know, their prospective husbands, siblings, and things like that. <laughs> Only for them to get married. And then after such, they can't be bothered. And then they're not cooking, and the man says, you have changed. Mm. Look, I have a feeling, did the man say that the woman cannot cook or won't cook? She said she cannot cook. Because some... She said... I don't think she said she can't cook, but it's she says no one is responsible for cooking in marriage. You fix yourself something to eat. Exactly. So I don't, I don't so think, she, she, she I don't think yeah. the problem is that she cannot cook. Hmm. The problem is that she won't cook. Like Tina said, she's trying to say, say, look, we are only dating. We haven't decided where we are heading to yet. Why should I be responsible for your stomach? 
Same way, so we'll sit here and say that if you're not, you not married or anything, the man is not entirely responsible for your financial needs. You know, you're also, you're also your own person. He's also his own person. So I have a feeling that it's just a, a rebellious state or maybe she doesn't want a situation where they are married. She can't cook every day and then it becomes an issue. Like, why are you not cooking every day? Why are you not doing this? Or oh, you've changed. You used to cook this for me and now you don't do it again. Then it becomes a deal breaker. I think that she just wants to see how things pan out. She probably wants a man who is more supportive in the sense that, look, there may be days, he probably she's in the media or she works, you know, in certain places that she may not be able to make it to the house mm -hmm. every day, say four or five to plan for the evening. She needs somebody who would be able to probably feed himself right. because I'm not around. I need to work. Or I'm out of the I'm out of the country for a week. Or I've gone somewhere for here or something like that. But if she gives that, um, she, she 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 starts with the posture of I can cook. I will cook for you on demand as and when. Mm -hmm. Then when you get married, you actually expect it more, right? Because now that you've paid the bride price, no, you want her to <laughs> really only in sano. You understand? So she doesn't want that. So I I think that she doesn't want to set herself up for some kind of a disaster after she gets married. Mm -hmm. So I think that the conversation should not go around, oh, cook for me, cook for me, cook for me. Just let her know that, you know what, as much as, you know I know how to cook. So I can actually cook for both of us. But it would be nice to have a woman who also knows how to cook. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes I really want to eat something made Different. by somebody else, mm -hmm. not me. And it would be nice. So you just want to know why she doesn't want to cook. You don't have a problem she doesn't, but you want to know why if she, why she doesn't want to cook? Is it because she doesn't know how to, because she doesn't want to, or because she thinks the time is not right? If you ask her well, she'll probably let you know that, look, you know what, it's not like I don't know how to cook, but I don't want you to think that I'm becoming your wife to be your personal chef. Mm. Then you know where you stand. But if you are just, I'm hungry, what are we eating? Mm. So you can't cook for me. If you're going along those lines, that's why she'll give you that response, like, look, hey, Abrante, yeah, if you're hungry, you home. eat. Yeah. If I'm hungry, I also eat. So each man to himself, God for us all. So what's up? So I think that you should just take yourself. All right. Well, it's been quite uh, an episode of uh, some of your conversations. But, um, you know, don't forget, you can actually always send your messages ahead of time to jessica at cityfmonline.com. We'll be back same time next week with another exciting edition of the show. Thank you very much, ladies. Really appreciate your time. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.